Rust or Golang? Which program language should I choose? The answer is none of that. <laughs> yes, so this programming language is being in increasing popularity nowadays, and uh, there is a lot of people going into the dilemma on which language they either have to learn. So, for example, I have this post here I recently commented on well, whether this person ha was in a dilemma of choosing between Rust or Golang because he wanted to use one of them for the backend. And uh, my answer was that he would cry a lot if you want to <laughs> use Rust because you do. <laughs> but then Golang actually would be the better answer for this for this project here because Golang is built for web service and Rust is not. Rust can do web service and nowadays actually is being the most used case for Rust, but the, its own purpose wasn't for that. The, the, its own purpose is to build more CLI low level coding projects that actually make them be embedded into Linux and Unix systems, for example. So that's why when you go into a, uh, a dilemma with programming language, you have to see which one fits more the requirements that you wanted to work on. And, um, and it's really interesting nowadays, this uh, kind of dilemma of Rust and Golang, because I saw this post here by this guy and uh, where he, uh, I, I actually don't know this person, but it looks like he's actually is a very important person. I, I think I, sh I think I should know him. <laughs> but then uh, it says he says that the software industry has rapidly converged into just three languages: Go, Rust, and JS. And uh, fair enough, he didn't say exactly for which part of the industry this language is being applied. And I feel like he's more like this kind of person that would agree with me that each language has its purpose, and then this being is being used for different parts of the industry. So Rust for low-level coding, so like uh, uh, improvements on Unix, CLIs, and etc. Go for web services and JavaScript for more of like front-end or full-stack development. And uh, yeah, so he said that you'll be smart to learn one of those really well and have at least a working acquaintance with the other two. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, because I feel like the DHH, the Ruby man, <laughs> Ruby and Rails man, he actually made a pretty good statement over this on of this post and uh it was really interesting so let's read here so he's start with saying don't converge don't comply the web is the most important software platform exactly because this hasn't happened uh th this is saying like the conversion language because he is a ruby guy so he can write ruby you can write the python or whatever we probably smile i already start programming before writing business business logic we in go or rust and uh, he's, he's noting here that he's been using Go a lot. So in one of the uh, proxy related pro infrastructure projects that he have, and uh, he is same in JavaScript as well, that it's his second favorite language. So he really join, enjoying working with front end in JavaScript. But the point isn't whether you share those preferences or not, is that you don't have to, you, have, you don't have to on the web, you can be serving HTTP on Amiga 4000, written in Assembler or Easy Amos. Nobody would have to know it's an amazing achievement that web works just like this. And this is this is pretty important because, as I said before, going back here, uh, the person wants to do a backend using either Bus or, or Golang, and you can use both of them. And uh, but then one of the things that you wanted to ask yourself when and you're working on this kind of on this kind of project is is to Ask yourself, is this something that you really wanted to be working for the rest of your life? Because most of the software developers, once they go into the market, they're going to start to specialize themselves into a uh, more backend with Java, more backend with JavaScript, or more backend with Golang, and, or they're going to be working with low level coding and going to be low, working for open source projects, uh, whatever. But then the language that you choose to work with is the language that you're going to be working for a really long time. And then uh, we wanted to, when you wanted to choose something, of course, it's really good to experiment all of them to find the one that you really like, because then it's something that you're not going to be regretting in the future on when you do coding. So, for example, I really, I uh, I really like Java, but then when I moved for, uh, from Brazil to Ireland, I started working with JavaScript. I really like JavaScript, but because of the simplicity of it, and I actually turned myself in, I turned myself into a front end developer and a JavaScript developer, and nowadays do full stack and back end and all this stuff. But then I specialized on this so much that today I really 
I'm really feel comfortable to actually explore other languages and and even though JavaScript is not a completely programming language and uh, be I had because I have actually a base uh, introduction of software programming in Pascal and Java nowadays I actually can jump into different programming languages but then when you read the when you read the, the documentation of this programming language and we go through this programming language they all follow the same basics of programming logic and you understand that like a really interest you can see and understand how they function and how they're going to work of course you're not going to be like an expert on that programming language on the go but just reading the documentation after you've been expert on each programming language you're going to see the logic there you're going to see that thing working your mind going to gonna understand the patterns and then you go forward and you can actually program program in that programming language so i pretty much that what we need to to do today and i pretty much i think that people who starting a programming language needs to understand that they wanted to choose something that you're really comfortable with you really understand and then you specialize in that and after you specialize in that then you go go for other language you go for a hobby you go for other things but then this thing that you work today is going to be something that you're going to be really enjoying and it's going to be easy for you to move forward on your career. All right. Okay, guys, that's pretty much the have for today. If you if you like, leave a like, uh, comment down below what you think about this content. I believe I pretty much didn't have much uh, PR review to do it today. And uh, share it, share it with your friends, share it with everyone. And as always, thank you very much. This is PR review.